Hi everyone. For the K-TIP lesson plan that you're going to be working on, there are lots of resources that are here in the course. So in addition to finding the rubric, you'll also find the latest K-TIP lesson plan, and we've expanded that lesson plan form to give you room to put more information. You'll also find KDE's resource, How to Develop a Standards-Based Unit of Study. So if you haven't developed a standards-based lesson before, I'd recommend you look at that. While we're not doing an entire unit of study, we're doing one lesson plan, um, this still has the foundational information that you will need. In addition, I've gone ahead and linked us um, to the high school health standards and the entire um, Kentucky academic standards that has the career standards because the lesson plan that you're going to work on focuses specifically on um, transition skills. So to find where you're um, going to locate this, the KTIP information, you will um, be looking in the assignment section. It's also linked in the module, but you can go to it from the assignments. And you'll notice in the details about the assignment, about the lesson, it's telling you that you will be working on a specific transition skill within the KTIP lesson plan format. And you can look at those transition domains that we had addressed in our textbook and the modules. So you need to address a specific skill <laughs> that you're going to teach using explicit instruction. So it could be ordering food in a restaurant, an item online, applying for a job, following a recipe, making a shopping list. Um, if you are looking at supports for students with moderate to severe disabilities, you can also look at, um, at dressing skills, at laundry, anything that will help a person be more independent. So the KTIP lesson plan format, let's look at some of the forms that you're going to be using. Um, first of all, the rubric. If you notice, um, some of the requirements are that you've picked an essential skill and you've got um, the essential questions included, that you've definitely linked to the Common Core. Make sure you've included the number of the standard and the text. Um, include the pre-assessment that you might give and how that lesson will be differentiated based on the student's specific needs. Don't forget to use people first language. We want, we want to talk about a student with autism, not an autistic student. Um, in your lesson outline, you need at least two lesson objectives, both academic and social or behavioral. And, and depending on your student, you know, my behavioral objective might be that the student attends to the lesson and gives good eye contact, or um, that the student remains seated um, through uh, the required portions of the lesson where they need to be attending to what I'm saying. You need to address key vocabulary and then any assessment that you're going to give and then what teaching strategies you're going to use. So it could be direct instruction, um, explicit instruction. Remember that uh, we've looked at the Kansas um, strategies and the Marzano strategies, so you can list any of those. You also can use the Kentucky, and should use the Kentucky Lesson Plan Handbook as a resource to help with those specific strategies. I'm looking for strategies that are listed in those resources. In your lesson procedures, which is where lots of the points are, notice that this should be extremely detailed. I should be able to walk through virtually your lesson step by step. You shouldn't say, I'm going to teach them about a menu. What are you specifically teaching? Yeah, I'm going to use picture supports to walk the students through a drink choice, a main entree choice, and a healthy fruit or vegetable to have with the meal. While I'm teaching, we will go through step by step I will say, the student will say, I will do, the student will do. It needs to be extremely explicit. You need to make sure that within your lesson plan, you've provided at least one activity for remediation. And the reason for that is we know our students with disabilities need lots of opportunities for practice and reteaching. So say with my student, I already know that healthy drink choices are going to be a challenge because this student um, likes soft drinks and only soft drinks. So my remediation activity, I might already be planning a follow-up lesson where we look at the sugar content and different drink choices and talk about um, healthy choices for our bodies. You also want to make sure that you clearly said how this lesson is differentiated, you know, what you've done to address the specific needs of your student, and what assessment that you are going to give at the end of your lesson. So that's the rubric that you'll be using.
the KTIP lesson plan format has spaces to fill everything in. So I'm going to fill in my name. Yeah. <laughs> you can choose where this lesson is in the cycle. For most of us, it'll be a one. All right, my students are going to be in the 10th grade, and my student is 16 years old. For this lesson, this is just a lesson for one student. The student does not have an Iowa 4 plan, they have an IEP. Their specific disability category is intellectual disability. They are not identified as gifted. This student is not an English learner. So the title of my lesson is Making Healthy Choices at a Restaurant. And as you go through your lesson, here in blue are some reminders of things that overall you need to fill out. So when I'm thinking about differentiating from my student, um, as far as sensory needs goes, I'm going to limit external noises and distractions. Students coming in and out of the room are very distracting. Limit number of people in the room. Physically, I'm a student facing board away from door. In my learning environment, um, some differentiation that I'm going to include would be picture supports, <coughs> limited text fields, so not long passages. So fill in what specifically you're going to do to differentiate. And then my overall class procedures that I have in place, um, class um, hands to self, use positive words, complete task first time asked. All right, rewards, I'm using a point system for completing tasks, one point per work assignment, <clears throat> earn Clark Cash towards Treasure Box. All right, so you get the idea. Make sure you're filling all those sections in. <clears throat> My I can statement is I can order a healthy lunch from a restaurant. And my KDE standard, which was linked, I am choosing uh, from the health standards, and I'm going to copy that in, <clears throat> that talks about making healthy choices from the food pyramid. Whoops. And I'm also going to be looking at <clears throat> whoops, um, the role of nutrients and food sources. Oops, wrong one. Looking at evaluating nutritional resources. Copy. Make sure you choose the right standards. All right, so those are my standards linked in there. My I can statement, I can order healthy foods. That's really bunched up. The more you can do to make your lesson plan easy to read, the better. So feel free to highlight. Please, um, as you go through, the blue notes are just to help you as you develop your lesson plan. <clears throat> so feel free to take those out as you go through. So my pre-assessment uh, will include three questions. What is a healthy food choice at a restaurant? And we're specifically going to target Wendy's in my lesson because that's where my student likes to eat. What is a non-healthy food choice? And uh, my note is, we'll be using picture schedule for student to circle choices. Alrighty. <clears throat> my formative assessment will use picture schedule and throughout lesson ask student to identify healthy, not healthy food choices. <clears throat> and then I will um, insert a table 
to use for data collection. And you'll go ahead and make that table. <clears throat> but I won't take our time to do that. For your resources, make sure that you're listing resources. You should be listing um, your supplementary aids and services would be picture supports, technology for scribe as needed, extended time and prompts, you know, whatever this your student needs. And then my resources that I'm using to prepare the lesson includes the KDE lesson plan handbook. And then I'm going to just give you a quick walk through some of the resources that I pulled to create this lesson. So I went to, and I'm pulling down my whole window here so you can see. Um, I'm also going to use this how to develop a standard space unit of study. So I'm going to list that as a resource that I used. And then I went to the USDA <clears throat> and pulled the um, My Plate for Kids poster because that was one of my learning targets. So I'm going to copy this in and then in my lesson plan I'm going to say that I'm using the USDA Healthy Plate and I'm going to copy in my link. <clears throat> then the other things that I'm going to use um, here was the my plate and I'm going to pull a game and an activity and then there's also a video I want to use so I'm going to link all of those things in. I went to do to learn because they have some great um, picture schedules so I'm going to use the do to learn picture schedule. <clears throat> and link that in. So I also went to Pinterest because they have some really good menus. So I pulled some menus off of Pinterest and the, we're looking at Wendy's, but I also wanted my student to think about other restaurants and they like McDonald's. So I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna do um, Pinterest McDonald's menu. So you're getting the idea here. Everything that I'm using I'm linking in my resource list. So I also searched for Wendy's and found their menu and they didn't have a printout menu but I decided to do a screen capture here so that my student could choose their food and then I'm also going to link in the KDE standards. <clears throat> so anything that I use I'm going to link in your lesson procedures to make this easier and make sure you meet all the steps that you need. <clears throat> step by step I'm going to <clears throat> discuss learning target looking at healthy foods define healthy <clears throat> use pictures use response cards okay anything I'm doing <clears throat> to support the student so step by step you're going to tell me everything that you're doing this um, K-TIP lesson plan format has five lessons in it for a unit plan. You are only doing one lesson, so you only need to fill in one lesson. Make sure as you're doing that one lesson that you include a copy of your unit plan. Uh, not your unit plan. <laughs> Make sure you include a copy of your assessment and any materials that you are sharing. If you want to go ahead and cut out these other lessons, you are welcome to do that. Um, and then just attach them at the end of your first lesson. And as a matter of fact, to make life simpler, I will go ahead and I'm just going to remove all these extra lessons and that way nobody will get confused. Alrighty, if you've got questions, please let me know. Otherwise, happy lesson developing. Um, and you can use these extra pages now to insert any um, assessment materials that you create.